Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a mini basket. Now you can use them as a mini Easter basket and fill them up with some surprise Easter treats. So you can add some chocolates, candies or even gift cards and just hide them away and let your kids hunt for them. Or if you do not want to use it as an Easter basket, uh, you can just use it as a simple plain basket. So this handle here I have used so that I can use it as an Easter basket. But you can just let go of this and use them as a normal basket and store all your knickknacks. Uh, this will make for a really nice uh, gift basket also. You can even add small flower pots, especially that succulents. It will look really pretty. Okay. So let's move on to the supplies and then we'll head over to the pattern. So for the supplies here, I have used a 100% acrylic yarn. It's a medium four weight yarn. Now you can use any weight yarn, any type yarn, but when it comes to the hook, try to use a smaller hook size than the recommended one. Now for this kind of yarn, I usually use a five to six mm crochet hook, but here I have used a size G or a four mm crochet hook. Now the reason for using a smaller hook size is to have really tight and dense stitches. So if you see the basket here, it is quite sturdy. It will not flop over. It can hold its shape. So that is why we are using a smaller hook size so that the stitches are tight. So try to use a smaller hook size uh, than the recommended one. Now apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors and also a darning needle. So these are the supplies that you'd require. Now if you're ready, we can get started. So we'll start this pattern by making a magic circle first and this is how I like to make my magic circle. You take your yarn, loop it around your finger like an X. Once you have that, just take this loop out. Now take your hook, pass your hook through this loop here and pull your working yarn through. So this here is your magic circle. Now once you have your magic circle, we are going to start round one and we'll start with two chain stitch. So chain two, one two and we are going to put 12 double crochet into the magic circle okay so we'll do that so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two so this is my first double crochet like that i'm going to make a total of 12 double crochet for round one so round one you will be having two chain stitch and 12 double crochet so I'll complete 12 double crochet first. So here I'm at the end of round one and I have put a total of 12 double crochet and the starting two chain stitch. Okay, now we'll finish off this round and at this point I'll just pull on this end so as to close the magic circle. Okay, now to finish off this round I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet. You see we have our chain two here. You just ignore that. Find your first double crochet of this round and then slip stitch. So I'm just slip stitching this in order to finish round one. We will move on to round two. Round two, again, we are going to start with two chain stitch. One, two, and this two chain stitch will be treated as a filler stitch. It will not be counted as a double crochet. And the pattern for round two is we will be putting two double crochet in every stitch. That is, this is going to be an increased stitch. Increase is nothing but making two double crochet in every stitch. Okay. So starting right here in the very first stitch, I'm going to put two double crochet. This is one and in the same stitch, another one. So here I have put two double crochet in the same stitch. Come to your next stitch. Here again, put two double crochet. So like that, I'm just going to go ahead and make two double crochet in every stitch. And once you finish this round, you'll have a total of 24 double crochets. So I'll just complete making two double crochet in every stitch. Okay, so this is how it is. So here I'm at the end of round two. I have put a total of 24 double crochet. Now, if you are a beginner, please don't go ahead and put a double crochet here where your chain two goes. That stitch has already been taken care of. But if at all you have a doubt, just count back and check if you have 24 double crochet. If you have, that's well and good. Now, we'll finish off this round and for that I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet. You see here we have a chain two here. Just ignore that. Find your first double crochet of this round and slip stitch. So that will finish round two. 
we'll move on to round three we'll start with two chain stitch one two and this time the pattern for round three will be one double crochet followed by an increased stitch so one double crochet followed by increase means you're putting two double crochet in the same stitch so one two one two is the pattern so we'll start here in the same stitch we'll start with one double crochet now follow it with an increase increase just means putting two single crochet two double crochet in the same stitch so this is one and in the same stitch i'm putting another double crochet so one followed by two one two is the pattern for this round come to your next stitch i'm just going to put one double crochet and in the next put two double crochet so like this i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the pattern making one double crochet followed by two double crochet like this and once you finish this round you'll have a total of 36 double crochets so here i'm at the end of round three and i have a total of 36 double crochet now in order to finish off this round just ignore your chain two find the first double crochet and slip stitch so that will complete your round three so this here is now a flat circle now we'll turn it into a basket okay so the next round we are again going to start with two chain stitch one two so we have finished with the base now we are going to start with the body of the basket so what we'll do is if you see if you just turn your work like this you can see there is a v stitch here so this here is the front loop and this here is your back loop the one that is behind you or away from you is your back loop so we'll be making double crochet in the back loops so round four we'll be working only in the back loops and the pattern is very simple we are just going to put one double crochet in every stitch so we'll start so find your first double crochet only through the back loop you complete your double crochet this is one come to your next stitch you can see this is the front this is the back this is the front this here is the back so insert your hook only through the back loop and make a double crochet again come to your next stitch insert your hook through the back loop only so you can see this is the front this here is your back loop only through your back loop make a double crochet so like this i'm just going to go ahead and repeat making one double crochet in every stitch all worked in the back loops okay so i'll just complete that and i'll join you and if you see here this will kind of start to form the sides okay so i'll just complete this making one double crochet in every stitch so here i'm at the end of round four and i have a total of 36 double crochet now if you see here the basket has started to fold up so this unworked stitch here is the front loop and in the back loop we had made the double crochet okay now in order to finish off this round you ignore the first chain two slip stitch into the first double crochet so that will complete round four okay now round five and round six is the same thing so both of these rounds you'll be starting with two chain stitch chain two and then put one double crochet in each stitch so just go ahead and make one double crochet in every stitch around and once you finish this round you can skip the chain two and slip stitch on top of the first double crochet so both round five and round six will have a total of 36 double crochet so i'll just complete both round five and round six once you finish round five when you reach the end just slip stitch into the first double crochet and repeat the same thing for round six so i'll meet you after round six so here i'm at the end of round six and this also has a total of 36 double crochet we are slowly getting into a basket now we'll move on to round seven so here we are going to start with three chain stitches this time so chain three one two three and this chain three here will be treated as a double crochet okay we are going to put three double crochet in the next three stitches so go ahead not in the first stitch but into the second stitch make a double crochet like this double crochet in the next two stitches also so one here in the next stitch also make a double crochet okay so like this 
So if you count the chain three as a double crochet, we have put four double crochet. Once you put four double crochet, make 14 stitches. One, two, three, and four. So here I've got four chain stitch. Now you skip the next two chain stitches. So skip two stitches in between. And in the next four stitches, make one double crochet each. So here you have made chain two, skip two stitches, come to your next stitch, the third stitch, and make a double crochet like this, and put three more. So we have to put four double crochet in total. So this is the second double crochet. One second, two, okay. This is my third double crochet, three, and one more, four. So here I have put four double crochets. Once four double crochet is made, make four chain stitch, one, two, three, four. Skip two stitches and again put four double crochets. So skipping two stitches, one and two, into your third stitch, make a double crochet. So you have to make four double crochet this time. So that is the pattern for this round. You will be making four double crochet. After that, you'll put four chain stitch and then skip two stitches before putting four double crochet. So this is the pattern that you'll make. Four double crochet, four chain stitch, four double crochet and in between you're skipping two stitches. So I'll just complete this pattern. So here I'm almost at the end of round seven. This is my last set of four double crochet. I have two stitches left and here is my chain three. So once you complete your four double crochet set, make four chain stitch, one, two, three, four, like this, and then slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain three. So we have started with three chain stitch, find the top chain, the third chain, and you can slip stitch. So that will complete round seven, okay? So round seven was four double crochet, four chain stitch, four double crochet, four chain stitch, and between the four double crochets, we have skipped two stitches, okay? Now we'll move on to next round, round eight. So we have slip stitch in the chain three. You go ahead and make a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet and between these two. So we have a set of four. So into the middle stitch. So one, two, you make a slip stitch into the center between the second and third double crochets. I'm starting with a slip stitch. Now come to this one. We are going to make the scalloped edge. Come to the chain four space and make eight double crochet. So we have made a slip stitch. We are going to make eight double crochet into the chain four space. One, two. This will create the scalloped edge. Three double crochet, four double crochet, five, six, seven, and I'll put, sorry, seven, and I'll put one more double crochet, eight, okay? So here I have put eight double crochet in the chain four space. Now once this is done, we'll be making a slip stitch and we'll make the slip stitch between second and third double crochet. So if you see, this is the second, this is the third. In between them, we'll go there and make a slip stitch. So here, our scalloped is ready. So we'll start with a slip stitch, eight double crochet in the chain four space and a slip stitch. And we'll repeat this pattern. So we are starting with a slip stitch. Slip stitch is already made. Now come to your chain four space and put eight double crochet, sorry. So we'll start the double crochet. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more we'll put eight. So we have put eight double crochet in the chain four space and then make a slip stitch between the second and third double crochet. Like this, you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern. So slip stitch is made, make eight double crochet, again put a slip stitch between the second and third double crochet and you can just continue the pattern. So I'll complete this row. 
So here I'm almost at the end of round eight. This is my last scallop. I have put eight double crochet. Now in order to finish off this round, I'm going to slip stitch on top of the slip stitch that we had started. So if you see between the second and third, we had started with a slip stitch. I'll go there and slip stitch to finish off this round completely. Okay, and I'm going to cut my yarn here. Now your basket is ready. But just to highlight the scalloped edge better, I'm going to use a contrast color to just make a border for the scalloped edge. Okay, so for that, I'm going to take white color yarn here. Okay, and I'm going to start with a slip knot. And I'll just go ahead and make a round of single crochet. So in all the scalloped edge and the slip stitches, we're just going to put one single crochet. You can start anywhere that you want. So just insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then make like this a single crochet. Come to your next stitch, again make a single crochet. Like this, just go ahead and make one single crochet in all of the stitches here so you'll have eight single crochet as well as the slip stitches here so I just continue this making one single crochet in every stitch around so here I have worked one single crochet in all of the stitches here and this here is my last stitch and now to finish off this round I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch and then we'll cut your yeah okay so slip stitch and then you can cut your yarn off and with that the first border is ready now I'm going to make a small little border on the bottom side also so if you see here when we were working the base we had started working only in the back loops to make the body we still have the front loops left okay so I'm going to make a small border using the front loops if you just see here you can see these loops the unworked loops so we'll be making the border here it's totally optional if you do not want you can avoid that anyway let's start again so i'm going to start with a slip knot and here the pattern will be we'll make a slip knot and one chain stitch that is the pattern so we'll start with any of the stitches here or what you can do is you can start where we have cut so that all the edges wrong edges will be at the same side so try to keep this up like this your uh, border don't uh, make use the bottom side use like this to stitch it up okay so we'll start with a slip stitch here so make a slip stitch first like this and then chain one come to your next stitch the unworked stitch here and make a slip stitch and then chain one again come to your next stitch make a slip stitch and follow it with chain one so like this you can just go ahead and repeat this pattern all around the round so make a slip stitch and then chain one again make a slip stitch into the next front loop like this and chain one so that will give you a kind of a zigzag border so I'll just finish off this and I'll join you so here I'm at the end of this round and in order to finish off this round so this is my slip knot here after that I'm going to make one chain stitch and to finish off this I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first slip stitch of this round so that will finish off this round here okay so i'm just slip stitching and you can cut your yarn off so your basket is pretty much done without the handle now if you want you can use this just like this as a basket it is ready uh, so this is how this looks or else what you can do is you can take some jar if you have it put it inside this and then you can add whatever you want to if you want you can add candies or anything else uh, if you want if you can find a smaller jar that would be better or if not you can add a small flower pot to it it will also look really beautiful anyway let's just make the handle I just wanted to give you a few options how you can use it anyway because you have made it let's start the handle so I'm going to take the pink color yarn here 
and I'm going to start with 40 chain stitch so that is the handle length that I'll be looking for if you want a longer handle you can start with a bigger chain stitch number I'm going to make 40 chain stitch first so I have made a slip knot and I'll make 40 chain stitches all right so here I have made my 40 chain stitches next what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the very first chain stitch here and make a single crochet into the second stitch from the hook so skip one stitch and make a single crochet and you just go ahead and make one single crochet in each of the stitches till you reach the very end so I'm just going to make a row of single crochet this time just put one single crochet in every stitch so here I have made one single crochet in all of the stitches here I have the very last stitch left in the very last stitch we'll be putting three single crochet so into the very last stitch make three single crochet one in the same stitch another one two and one more three so here we have put three single crochet in the very last stitch and it would have turned a little bit now what we'll do is we'll make one single crochet in all of the stitches till we reach the very first stitch so if you see here this here on these stitches the opposite side we are going to make a single crochet so here this loop in the opposite side you can make a single crochet come to your next stitch if you see here there is a loop here make a single crochet like this you can just go ahead and make a single crochet till you reach the very first stitch okay so I'll just complete this as well so here I have completed one single crochet in the opposite side also I have reached the very first stitch so in the very first stitch you put two single crochet so in the very last stitch also you can see that so I'm going to put two single crochet there like this and then I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet this here is the chain one that we have skipped just ignore that just find the first single crochet and slip stitch so that will finish off this round I'm just going to cut my yarn here okay. now if you want you can use this alone as the bag handle but I'm going to do one more round with the white color now before moving forward I just want to show you so we have cut the yarn here into the center stitch so this here will be the center stitch okay here we have slip stitch this is the center stitch and on the opposite side also you can find the center stitch here if you want you can mark that up because in these two stitches we we'll again be putting three single crochet so if you want you can mark it up or once you reach this place if you can find it properly you can uh, just put three single crochet just in case you are new you can just mark the stitches and we'll start the next round with the white color okay so here again we'll start with a slip knot so here is the slip, uh, slip stitch that we have done here is the center stitch so we'll start here first of all I'm just going to attach the new color and then chain one and I'm going to put three single crochet only in the center stitch I'm going to start with three single crochet one two and one more three all in the same stitch okay so here I'm starting with three single crochet in all the other stitches in the rest of the stitches just put one single crochet so I'm just going to go ahead and make one single crochet in all of these stitches like this okay and I'm just going to go ahead and make a single crochet in all of the stitches and when you come to this center stitch again you put three single crochet in this marked stitch or the center stitch only in this stitch you put three single crochet and then in the remaining stitches just go ahead and complete a row of single crochet so single crochet all across this only at the two corners here and here we'll be making three single crochet just to get a rounded edge so i'll just complete that 
So here I have completed the single crochet row with the white color also and here at the end I have made three single crochet that's why this has nicely curved up and here is my very last stitch and to finish this off I'm going to slip stitch in the first single crochet you have your chain one just ignore that find your first single crochet and then slip stitch so that will finish off this round and here you can cut your yarn off so your handle is pretty much ready now you can join this to your basket okay so I would prefer somewhere where the four double crochet is you can stitch up there or if you want you can stitch on any of the scalloped wherever you prefer so I'm just going to use a pink color yarn because the base is pink so I'll just use a needle and this pink color yarn to attach it on both the sides so I'll just attach this so here I have attached the handles and our basket is ready so yeah, that was a tutorial on how to do this mini crochet basket. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed making it. Now, if you liked it, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. If you're looking for other crochet basket uh, patterns, especially different shapes like a heart shaped or a square basket or nesting basket i have all those tutorials on my channel so i'll leave the link in the description box as well as on the end screen so that's it for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for